You can see that I've got my page insert ready to go. I have my front cover labeled, got my back cover labeled, and I'm sure not to glue anything on here except for the covers when I get to that. Uh, you can see that I don't have anything mounted inside yet, and I'm ready for my pop-out. My pop-out's going to go in the center in one of the recessed areas of the book, so you can see how I have it labeled right here, pop-out, um, right down in the recess so that the pages fold up and close like this. I printed up a picture of Keith Haring, uh, changed it so that it looks a little bit like Keith Haring's work, and I've cut it out, glued it down to a piece of Bristol board so that it's fairly rigid, and that'll work for my pop-out. As you can see, for this project, I'm going to need a few items. First of all, I'm going to need a ruler, I'm going to need a folding tool, I need a pencil, a scissors, and some sort of paper cement. I enjoy using rubber cement, but Elmer's glue will work, and if you use stick glue, be sure to use plenty of stick glue. My page insert. I'm going to find the back section, or basically the back side, of my recess page ready for my pop-up. Use my ruler and I'm going to lay it perpendicular with the page. Now you'll notice that I laid the book out so it's a little bit easier to judge this. In most cases it works really well to have a, a normal size ruler that's basically one inch wide. In my case it's a little bit wider but I think it'll work just fine. So I have this ruler laid perpendicular to the pages and I'm checking to make sure uh, that it runs uh, pretty well along there. I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to draw one down this side one down this side. Okay, you can see that I've drawn two lines. And they're up a little bit further than the width of my ruler so that I can measure out my fold line. Now I'm going to take my ruler, lay it along right here, and I'm putting it right along the edge of my page. Move this a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. I've got my ruler laid right along the edge of the page. That allows me to put a little mark here here. So I've put a little hash mark right at the top of my two lines that run perpendicular with the pages of my book. Next step is to cut the lines. Now the cut lines run up the length of the book and they're going to stop at that hash mark. I'm going to cut up to the hash mark and cut up Now comes the fold lines. I lay my ruler along across from both fold lines. Right there, the hash marks will be my fold lines. I'm going to use my folding tool, uh, which you'll need for this as well. Uh, feel for the smooth edge that works best for folding. And then I'm just going to mark the fold line from hash mark to hash mark see that fold line right in there. I'm going to do that on both sides. Flip this over. If you can't see it, I'll point it out with my pencil. See right here, that's where the end of one of my cut lines is. That's the end of my other cut line. And I'm going to use my ruler. Line it up just like I did on the other side of the page. And press the fold line. Once again, as a little bit of review, I use the width of the ruler for my two cut lines, and then I use the width of the ruler to measure out my fold line. I'm going to put my book back, or my page inserts, back the way they belong. And I'm going to open up to my page, pressing from the back then, I'm going to pop this through. And I have the back support for my pop-up. And you can see how my pop-out pops out of the book. Open it up and I have a pop-up. Projects three-dimensionally from the back of the page.